Hi everybody. Hi there. So this video is about Wausau, Wisconsin. And we did some stuff in Wausau that we've never done before. We And the dog. Wait till you see this. The, uh, I won't spoil it. <laughs> yeah, we got some good footage of General, but you'll have to wait and see the video. <laughs> but, uh, and, and the cheese curds. The cheese curds were awesome. If you're going to be in Wisconsin, you got to try the fried cheese curds. Now, it's not that I, I like cheese as much as the next person, but... Not as much as me. No. <laughs> and the geographical marker. Very interesting. That was really interesting. So, uh, we hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks so much for watching. See ya. Bye. Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Ed. And this is General, our totally awesome water dog. We used to live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, but one day we found both of ourselves unemployed. So we decided to take a chance. We sold everything, bought a trailer, and left to explore America. We're learning as we go along, but we still make mistakes. But we get a lot of things right too. So come join us as we learn to RV full-time, explore America, and share in our exciting journey of discovery. Our, our next adventure, adventure is just over the hill. hill. Today is another travel day, and we are driving south down the coast of Lake Michigan on our way to Wausau, Wisconsin. We are loving these trees. This just looks so awesome. This road's very peaceful, just like the last one we were on. I'm trying to soak in every little inch of Lake Michigan since it's going to be a while before we see big water again. Well, here's a good area to soak it in. Oh, wow, big water, yay! Welcome to Wisconsin! We stopped to get something to eat at a Love's Travel Center and the public restroom had these really awesome quotes plastered all over the walls. This was so cool. So Marathon Park is this really huge um, city park right in the middle of the kind of downtown area and uh, besides walking trails and picnic pavilions they have this really cool little train for the kids to ride on and there's a splash park for the kids nearby and they also have a snack shop and this is also their fairground area so they have um, a huge amphitheater and some uh, big buildings for exhibits and things. It's a really cool park. So we're staying in Marathon Park in Wisconsin and uh, very nice area, but also in a congested area, uh, I guess called Urban Sprawl as best I can call it. And we're separated from all this haste and bustle by this fence. And I draw a parallel to that and I'll try and explain. So Sandy and I have been on the road for about four months now and uh, we got here to Wausau, Wisconsin and there's not a lot for uh, the interest us. Uh, it's not the slam Wisconsin, I'm sure you got a lot going on, but in this particular area, being the history buffs we are, there's one thing we want to go see and knock out and otherwise we're just hanging out at this uh, pretty nice park for, for three days. And the park is situated uh, in the middle of a lot of congestion, but the park itself is, is beautiful. And I, I, I've drawn some parallels to being here because what happened to us is, uh, since we don't have a lot to do, we just kind of came to a mental standstill and I parallel it to uh, when we worked 9 to 5 and the weekends. And 
you know, we if you go to RV full time, you want to think about that. Well, I mean, every day for us has been one blur after another where we forget what day it is and I'm that might sound like oh lucky you well I understand that but we lost our sense of of order of taking a break and I've never really seen a lot of videos that address how you adjust a full-time RV living so I, I thought I would do this and so we've just been running non-stop since we left uh, the Outer Banks in April and here we are with with this break and you know what it really felt good we we didn't do anything yesterday except a little bit of grocery shopping we turned the television set on which is totally unusual for us and uh, we watched uh, me TV and Andy Griffith and, and things like that old sitcoms and shows that we enjoy so it was like a weekend in Wisconsin we we took that weekend break like we used to have when we were nine to fivers and if you all decide to RV full-time it's really something that I think you want to think about um, plan it ahead so what I think is coming out of this for us is we're going to try and have uh, a break day we're going to try and plan our Saturday our Sunday have a weekend and however we plan it doesn't matter which day it falls but my point is uh, it's important to have that break from what might seem to be a life of Riley and a life of fun and and all those things but you have to have kind of a break for your mental health if that makes any sense <laughs> those are my babblings ed's tangents as they may be and uh, i hope you found them helpful thanks y'all take care so we are about to visit the geographical marker for the exact center of the Northwestern Hemisphere. And then later on, we can visit a place where you sign a book and get a free coin. I've never been so excited. Maybe the dog's a little more excited than I am. So here we go, we've made it. We're at the exact center of the Northwestern Hemisphere. And there's the marker, here, come on. I'll carry you all over. Y'all, you can join me, we're gonna stand right dead soon. How's that right there? Go ahead, jump on your TV screen or however you're watching this. Jump on. All right, come on, I gotta hurry up. All right, good job. So we got 45 North, we got 90 West, we've got 45 North, and we got 90 West. I would have thought two things, anyway. Okay, excitement over? No, never. Never, another adventure. Looms just over the hills. Where exactly is this marker? Well, it's like in the middle of a large cornfield with the path that takes us up to it. So we are in Wausau, Wisconsin, and this is one of the things I love about our travels. We just happen to bump into things, and they're having a marathon here at Marathon Park. And uh, it's interesting compared to the running marathons I've seen, uh, they do it sort of like a rally. So the people go and then they come in, uh, they just don't do it in a mass thing. But this is America. This is what we find every place we go. It's just good folks having a good time and all I can say is, God bless America. And you gotta love this sign. This lady's got it going on right here. Yeah, that says it all, doesn't it? You're only 
only 242. You take this home. Take it home. We met this couple uh, RVing and they're RVing too and uh, turns out that she's in this marathon. Sue Rice. So today we are headed to downtown Wausau, Wisconsin to experience a truly unique Wisconsin thing. And what is that, Sandy? Fried cheese curds. Fried cheese curds. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Floating umbrellas. So we are at Malarkey's Pub, also Townie's Grill, and now these are beer battered uh, worst bites stuffed with cheese curds, and these are the cheese curds that everybody here loves. Sandy's got this killer sandwich thing going on. It's a BLT with avocado and garlic aioli. Mm, sounds delicious. So we're going to and some taste out. And we're going to try these things out. Never had cheese curds in my life, let alone deep fried. But I guess that's the way you eat them. And the verdict is yum. Yum. <laughs> these are great. Now I'm going to try these guys. So these things. You take rocks, you put them in beer bag, and then you, you also stuff them with the cheese. This is this is decadent being right here. This is incredible. <laughs> Over the top. And a cold beer on top of this. I'm not gonna be worth anything the rest of the day. <laughs> put a fork in it. He's gonna be done soon. Right next to Marathon Park is this kind of train depot area where they kind of um, move the different boxcars around to get them lined up for their next trip. So that was pretty interesting to watch. spots and I'm setting up to get ready to do that and uh, we're putting in I'm putting in the recurve 6 system I got it hitched up here and uh, first off don't get me wrong I love the, the concept it works good yeah, anti sway in the weight distribution on the recurve 6 is very very good but look at this Now, if you don't think that is not happening when you go down the road at 60 miles an hour, you're crazy. This thing is jumping up and down like this. The fit of this into this hitch is so sloppy. Come on, people, tighten it up. I know you're casting things and saying, well, you know, you know don't give it the Friday afternoon just got paid fit tighten it up 